Yo, so guys, it's been a rough couple of days. Um, we finally got our products in. We're in here with the pups. They're not happy per usual. <laughs> you know, nobody's ever happy when they don't get what they want. But um, we got the puppy blocks. And, you know, people want to know who are the puppy blocks for? They're for everybody. Anybody who's got a dog, remember a puppy is technically two years old. Your dog's still kind of a puppy. And it's still growing, still needs a lot of nutrition, nutrients, etc. I repeat, if we didn't tell the story before, I'm not a fan, and never been a fan of supplementation. And then, of course, years ago, I stopped doing my research. And then you start saying, man, now I understand the need for it. So, you know, I go and we've been waiting for some time. And I said, you know, what are some things that we're missing out of a lot of the packages and stuff? When you think about how protein works in the body, back in the day they say, man, what protein are you taking? I say, what, what are you asking for, man? You know, they associate protein with getting big and having muscles, and that's just not how it works. For one, you need genetics, and you have what you call genetic potential. Then you have a way in which the gene performs. And that's something very unique, but it's we're not gonna go down that rabbit hole. Simply put, nine out of 10 of the nutrition, nutrients, sources of protein, quality of things, they're not there anymore. You know, why do you think there's a difference between grass-fed, pasture-raised, caged, uncaged? All those little things matter. And for instance, chickens, <clears throat> when they're not pasture-raised, they don't get any vitamin D. And vitamin D, even when it's put into their nutrition slash their meals, unless it it's they get hit by the sun, meaning they're out in the sun, it stays at the skin layer, so it never skin layer, so it never synthesizes, which doesn't allow it to be absorbed, which means it doesn't get passed through the eggs, or for that matter, some of the chicken breasts. <coughs> As I said, I've been pretty beat up over the last couple of days. And I'm still beat up, but uh, the other day I had to go in and get our get our product. He said it was done. So what I do know, and based on a lot of studies, we'll put some posts up in the community page, especially for you people who are inquisitive like myself, where a guy breaks down, you can have all the aminos in the world, but for instance, let's say you need this particular chain. Let's say it's an antibody amino, meaning like antibodies, are chains of aminos. Your insulin level, insulin itself is made up of like 52 or 53 aminos. Aminos in some, not even some degree, are everything. The body ingests protein, breaks it down, then creates in a chain of aminos to do something very specific. Some help with muscle development, some help with sickness, some help with skin, some help with, uh, I mean, anything you could think of. Nails, hair, everything. And so you say, huh, I want to make sure that starting off, since the American Bully, and I think a lot of breeds, people are proud of their dogs, right? You say, hey, what are some things that the dog needs to ensure that it stays successful, stays healthy? And so I remember back in the day, for instance, it says 79 milligrams of arginine on the back of this thing, right? And you go, man, how much, uh, how much uh, arginine does a human need well if you had l arginine back in the day for it to be effective you would borderline have to take about 20 of those pills those pills ran about 80 bucks 80 90 bucks and you go bro you know that's not helping right and even back in the day it was either i think it was glutamine guys would take l glutamine and realistically if you're eating the way that these bodybuilders are eating by their third meal they would have all the glutamine that they need for the day which means then you got to understand the cycle of protein. Now, the beauty about this first formula is it's a start. And we're going to continue to better this slowly but surely. And uh, <clears throat> one of the things that we have in here that I think is very important to start is the beef bone, uh, bone broth powder. Beef bone broth in itself helps and assists in the absorption and, and, and utilization of a lot of nutrients. 
Then you've got papaya, which helps with minimizing bloat, but not bloat in the way that you're thinking. If your dog does have bloat, you are going. To, you need to go to a doctor quick. You need to go to a doctor quick. Okay. Um, this type of bloat <coughs> comes from uh, the dogs that are eating, let's say, pasta in excess or food too fast, and then what ends up happening? Uh, the dog gets gassy skin you know gassy is full of air uh, and you know these are the things that help basically assist in processing <coughs> a lot of the stuff so for the things that we put in here in order to help balance some of this stuff we'll break things down in detail at another time but puppy blocks are available they're at our website mydogsubs.com feel free to go and check it out if you've seen the videos where you see what I'm spending I spend quite a bit of money, time, energy, and effort in ensuring that my dogs live the best quality of life, but even more importantly, have the proper nutrition. <clears throat> I'm not assuming you're, you're not going to do that. I'm not going to assume that you want to do that. What I'm going to assume is that <coughs> the base amount of money a family spends on their dog per month is about 20 bucks, and that's fair. You can go to the dog food store, Walmart and uh get all that get all that stuff you know get your bag of dog food for about 20 bucks you say hey, my dogs live for a long time off bed of green and all that other crap <coughs> i personally can't run the risk just because i know better so if you are keep in mind aminos often are sprayed on and that's after the food's gone through an extensive exclusion process which means realistically there's no nutrition left so not only is the food bland and useless, they spray the flavor on and then they spray the aminos and they have the synthetics that they add, which in turn long term can actually affect your dog's quality of life because the body, I mean, it, it, it really doesn't know what to do with synthetics. But that's a whole nother conversation. So you want to get you some puppy blocks for those that are feeding dog food for sure. And even if you're feeding raw and other things, it will not hurt to add a scoop or two to your dog's overall nutrition. And uh, kind of go from there. People, I appreciate all those who supported, reached out, talked to us, stopped me in the airport. Uh, we got a lot of communication. Uh, ones I didn't plan for when I did some traveling a week ago. And two places people said they saw us was YouTube, TikTok. So shout out to everybody who's tuned in. This is one step in the right direction. We've got 10 products we're going to come out with by the sixth month of next year. It'll be 10 total. And everything we create, people, remember, is to better your dog's quality of life. That's it. That's all. So stay tuned. Take care of your dogs. Forgive me. As you can see, I'm not feeling the best. But uh, we're on to something here. And the work is still got to get done. Thank you for watching.